In the lab, you're going to need to know how to use your meter in order to take accurate measurements. This is a demonstration on how to correctly install an inline ammeter to an existing circuit. This is our existing circuit, which is running on DC. In order to install the inline ammeter, we physically have to interrupt the circuit or break the circuit to install the meter. Be mindful of polarity of the meter, that we're on the correct setting, and also that our leads are connected correctly to anticipate the correct amount of current that's flowing through the meter and the fuse that's going to be inserted in line. First step is to break the circuit. We're going to install with the correct polarity in the meter. And then we're going to connect it so there's only one path of current flow through the circuit and all the current goes through the meter. When we turn it on, the meter should indicate the correct value. If we have the incorrect polarity, a digital meter will still read the correct value. If we incorrectly connect an ammeter in the circuit in parallel rather than in series, we could do damage. This is our existing circuit. We connect the meter in parallel. We cause a short circuit. Putting the ammeter in parallel with the load has resulted in a short circuit. The primary path of current flow has been bypassed by the low impedance of the ammeter. Lots of current went through the ammeter, tripping the breaker, and now we have no power development at our load. We, doing this could cause damage to the meter, damage to personnel, damage to components, blowing a fuse in the meter, or upstream. This has been a demonstration on how to correctly connect an ammeter into an existing circuit.